All right, hello. Jack here. I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards, amongst other things, and today we have the uh, latest Rush Duel set. This is uh, specifically called the Maximum Evolution... Sorry, Maximum Ultra Evolution Pack. So this is the uh, the second of uh, these kind of Maximum Ultra sets. Uh, the first one I had got a video of also on the channel, so do be sure to check that out. But we have got some very exciting things in here. I'll have a quick look in the back for you. So you can see there's 50 cards in the whole set. What separates this one from the last set is you have two... Se I think... I just say that. I can't remember, but some, not many Rush Tool sets have secret rares. I'm not sure the one before this one did, but this one definitely has two. Then there's six Ultras, eight Supers, 14 Rares, and 20 Common Cards. And down here it says how they're... Uh, the Ultra Rare cards also come as Rush Rares as well. Now, the, the six Rush Rares in this set... Um, uh, and, uh, six ultras slash rush rares are the uh, maximum summon cards. So basically, there's there's two of those, each made up of three different cards. So if we get those, I'll have, show them off to you. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time chatting and a lot of nonsense. I'm just going to get stuck into it. So this is quite a cool set. There's lots of uh, new things in here, as well as things that can be uh, added to previous. Uh, archetypes that have come out. I do have my um, lap, my uh, tablet next to me so I can do any translations if necessary. I probably won't translate every single card because we'll be here for quite a while. But here we go, there's 15, 15 packs in a box, five cards per pack. And I might as well just get dug straight into it. Why not? And just adjust the camera very slightly. There we go. So, Obviously, Rush Rare would be amazing. Um, I've never had a Secret Rare from a Rush Duel set, so it'd be even cooler to get one of those. They generally uh, seem to be the more valuable cards there. So here's a kind of a kind of shield-piercing type of thing. Here's, uh, I guess, the old fans of Yu-Gi-Oh! will probably recognise what this is based off of. In English, it's called Urubi. Here it is uh, called Wild Raptor. And you have, so it says, lots of dinosaur cards in this set. For example, that last one. And this one, Transcendental Evolution. Also got more support for that, uh, the chair archetype. The best archetype ever. This one is called uh, Joint Chair. Then we have our rare, which is uh, Inside Roll... Uh, inside Rollout. So it's a kind of a, a sushi type archetype. I don't know if that's maybe where they got some of the inspiration for that new sushi archetype coming out in um, Dawn of Majesty in uh, a month or two. And who knows? And then each pack also comes with one of these. Um, I guess it's like kind of a, a strategy card slash a card that tells you how to use like the maximum summon cards. So yeah, if you could read Japanese, I'm sure that'd be very useful. Right, next pack. I think generally you'll be expecting to get three supers and two ultras in a box. Uh, although, if you were to get a rush rare, and presumably a secret rare as well, I think that takes one of the ultra rare spots. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But here you go, dwell chair scale. It's not one of these um, kind of musical instruments fighter type cards. This is Music Maiden's Twin Squall. So yeah, Music Maiden, that came out in a... It's either, either the fourth or the fifth uh, main Rush Duel set. Here we have uh, Rolling Hot Arrow. So I don't, I'm assuming she must be a card that you can get, but I've not seen her. Then we have uh, Platinum Don. Then we have as our rare something way too complicated for me to translate on the off the cuff. Dayo Ahez, the Mirror King of Chairs. So this is for the the legendary chair archetype you've got here. Quite cool looking thing, but I've no idea where the kind of the chair kind of applies to in that, but whatever. So you see this on the on the 
pack arts. This is one of the uh, Maximum Summon cards. I have in the past got all three parts of the Maximum Summon monster in one box, so it is possible, whether it's... Well, I say that, it's it is certainly something I managed to do in a different box, so hopefully it could be possible here as well. So, I'm not going to try translating that. Uh, another Dwell Chair. Dwell Chair... Dwell Chair Massage. This guy, I can't quite tell if he's enjoying this or not, but there we go. Another Dwell Chair Scale. Oh, we've got a hollow. It's... Oh, look, there she is. There's the lady herself. Who is... Where is this? This is... Agaribel, the finest sushi angel. They say the the waifu game in Rush Jewel is strong. There's something that the film needs to be said. So as they go, my point is proven. She is in the set, and there she is. Very nice super. I can't really assume that she'd be an ultra, but super's good as well. And then uh, Angel Ch Angel Judge. Hang on, let's, let's have a look. Angel, Angel Judge, not Judge Judge. Angel Judge. And then the, there's this one's the uh, list of all the cards in the set, so you can tick them off as you go. So, next pack. So, one super. I'm going to be seeing if we can get anything else. From my knowledge, all the secret rare cards always seem to be based off of kind of classic original Yu Gi Oh cards. Say some of the sushi angels. Monkey roll the sushi angel. There's a pteranodon of some description. I remember this one having a complicated name. Pterosaur stem terror. Then that one again. And then for our rare, uh, we have a new one for this archetype, which is mythic. The mythic sword archetype. Mythic sword return. There. So I think that came out in the fourth. Uh, Rush Jewel set, which was the one that um, Jinzo came out in as the uh, Legend Rush Rare. So, moving on, we got another dinosaur there. This one is Celebrontosaurus. Don't know if that's a reference to celebration or, or, or some Japanese thing, I have no idea. Here's a spell card for the chairs. This is a darkness, darkness rich Errol. A little little pun there. We have a rolling ne never die. Rolling never die. This one is based off of the Yuga card Cabazols, I think, because its name is Zenig Cabazols. So I don't know if that's some a kind of sound of a sneeze or something, or I, I don't know. And then we have a field spell. This one is the snow-capped summit of spectral Shangri-La. And again, another card that looks like something from Magic: The Gathering. I love these ones. I can almost kind of make a collection out of just these ones with these kind of like just landscapes of kind of cool things. Not sure which archetype that is a field spell for. If it is a, if it is a uh, archetype specific one, but who knows? Here's another sushi angel. This one is sushi dragon roll the sushi angel. Then we've got another dinosaur card. There we've got miraculous coevolution. This one is another sushi angel. It's spider roll. The sushi angel, the little. There's a spider crab, I would assume. Then we have got another draw chai massage, and we've got something shiny, something shiny. It's oh, it's an ultra rare, and it's part of the maximum summon cards. This one, it was number one in the set as well. This one is Super Magic Flagship Magnum Overroad L left. So this is the one of the three parts that go together to create the big, the one big maximum monster. So that's very, very cool to see, because they uh, they all go next to each other and form one big picture, which is really cool. 
So I'll put that to one side and then hopefully we will get some more parts of that as, as things go on. And then you move on. Not quite halfway through, I think. So we've got one super, one ultra so far. We've seen you. We've seen you. We've seen you. So I think we're kind of hitting the point where we've seen most of the commons now. Here is a Nari King Rex, which better translates in English to Upstart King Rex. You've got there is the rare. We shall move on. I know that I could... I know that these packs have these little tabs here to rip. There's something in me, my weird obsession with keeping stuff in as good condition as possible. It doesn't let me... doesn't let me rip the packs apart. Another sneezing guy, another Urbi. Ooh, super rare! We have got here... Seed Clotron Brusseln as our second super. It's an interesting looking card. Is it a plant? Is it a dragon? It's a cyber monster. No idea what it does though, but I'll put that there. And then there is our rare. This is Hammer Crush. And then another little card there. So about halfway now. Two supers, one ultra so far. There's some really cool kind of looking cards in this set. So I'd really like to get a secret rare. I've I've opened a lot of boxes of rush rare of um, rush dual cards and I've never pulled one. So I'm just imagining that they seem to be a lot harder to get than <laughs> Speak of the devil Speak of secret rares What do we got? Oh look at that Oh wow that is a very classic card. That is tribute to the doomed, as anyone who has been in Yu-Gi-Oh for a while will be able to tell you instantly. And that is my first ever secret rare rush duel card. That looks so nice. Whoa! That's like a uh, Starlight rare in the uh, TCG. That looks so good. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Look at that. Legend, legend secret rare it says there if you can kind of see it underneath all the sparkles. Oh, that has made me very happy. Look at that. I'm very happy to have that in the collection. I think I think that's one of the most valuable cards in this set. That is so nice. That is going straight on Instagram as soon as I finish here. I could just look at that shine all day. That's one of the two secrets. Yes! Yes! Can't believe that came out as I was talking about how difficult to get they are. Because I say, I've, in my experience, I, I found Rush Rare cards usually seem to come out in every three, four boxes I open, you generally get a Rush Rare. With Secret Rares, I've opened like five boxes and not five six boxes not got one so i've no idea what the rarity of these is this, this is my third box of this set to open so far so I've, and, until i get a second one i've no idea what the <laughs> what the ratios are and there is saikuri putron saikriptron something like that Man, I just can't believe that. I'm so happy I've got Secret Rare. First ever Rush Jewel Secret Rare. And here we go, more dinosaurs, more chairs, more sushi, more dinosaurs. Oh, look at that! Ultra... So, we do get a third Ultra... So, you... I've no idea how many Supers you get. we're going to get in this box then. We've got two supers, two ultras and a secret. So does that does that secret red take a spot? Something else I don't know. But as you see, this is the middle part of this. 
So these go together, and you can see they kind of go together and make one larger monster. Like that. This has been a very good box. And we've still got four packs to go. So I don't know if there's any, any hollows left. There may be, there may not be, I'm not sure. I mean, only one way to find out, which is carrying on opening them. And there we have another another new dinosaur we haven't seen yet. That one is Mech Therizinoraptor. And then there's that one. So third to last pack, the, the triultimate pack of the box, I think that is the term. Wild Raptor there, Darkness Rich Cheryl, Celebrontosaurus, Dwell Chair Massage, and a Jurassic World Field Spell for the rare. Look at that. Very nice. Field spell for the dinosaurs, unsurprisingly. So, penultimate pack. Here we go. What can we get? Another Trinodon thingy. Another one of you. Another new. We have got another super foil here. It's a super rare. This one is a turn back, turn back shot. Turn back shot. There you go. As our super there. And I don't know quite what's going on there. Seems to always oh, this kind of little reference to in Zelda when you're like hitting the energy blast back with your sword or something. I don't know. And then there is our rare, which is dynamic pressure. Dynamic pressure? Dynamic pressure? Who knows? And then our final pack of the box of this legendary box, this best box ever. So we get a secret rare. What are we going to get? A Platinum Don. A, I haven't read this one's name out every time I've seen it, so I might as well. Music Maiden Secret Technique, Triple Tiger. It's another one in you. Another Dodger Scale. Let's get rid of that. And our last card is... Is... Mythic Sword Secret Technique, High Speed Demolition. There we go. So, that is the box. Let's have a little check at what goodies we got. So here are our three Super Rares we've got there. Very happy with this one in particular. And a new one for the Waifu collection. Then there's our two Ultras we got. We got these, the two, two of the three parts of this particular Rush uh, Maximum Magnum, Maximum Overload, Overroad, whatever he's called, monster. And then, of course, the cherry on top is the secret rare tribute to the doomed. Wonderful. As I said, this is the uh, the third box of this set I've opened, so I've just pulled out the uh, hollows from the other boxes I opened. So I have already got the uh, the middle one of those. We got this uh, the Music Maiden card. We've got another one of those. This one. Uh, Dinosaur, dinosaur crush. Two of those. Then this is the uh, the second maximum summon card, which is called. If I can find it, Great Imperial Dino Carriage Dynamics. So I got two of the left ones. I have got the middle one, and not only is it the middle one, it is a rush rare version of the middle one. And that looks really cool. It's weird that it, it look it looks amazing in real life. It's you can kind of like you can kind of get a very good idea of the hollow how, of how the hollow looks on it, but it's quite hard to actually see the picture on the camera. And there you go. And then also the right side of it as well is there. We've also then got here. This one is the old startup goblin. Is a reference to the old goblin thief, an up, upstart goblin. And then we have on the end there 
Heavenly Revelation is what that one's called. So I'll just, I'll just hold up the, um, the three parts of the dinosaur one, if I can, so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And there, so there you go, more or less. Ooh. If I hold it from the bottom, it'll probably be a bit easier to see. There you go. If that's what the three of them look like together. Very happy with that. So, want to hold that up? I say thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then like, comment, subscribe, all that, all the all the usual YouTube nonsense. Um, these are from Holocron Cards. I should have probably said at the beginning. Um, and as you can see, the the boxes he gives you are very good. So do contact him if you are looking for any of your own rush tool boxes or any other t boxes of TCG or OCG stuff, because he'll be able to set you up. Um, links down to him will be uh, down below the video, as well as links to my own Instagram, Jack Collects Yu Gi Oh. If you want to see kind of better pictures of this, this will certainly be on there very shortly. So yes, thank you very much for watching. I will also very shortly be having a, about the same time this video goes up, there will also be a video of King's Court opening. So do check that out. See if we can get these uh, very rare, Pharaoh's rare Egyptian gods, or maybe even a, a collector's rare in any of those. If my luck from this box is there's anything to go by, then that's a good, I'm feeling good about that. But yes, as I say, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.